in this video we are going to discuss what is block ui styler and how you can use it so let's understand it from nx cab perspective let's say this is an assembly i have and when i work with assembly i actually use lot of uh, features from this uh, feature bar let's say this one h band when i open h band when i click on h band it opens a dialog box this is a dialog in fact this is a standard dialog box and uh, in this dialog box each of these thing for example this continuity this select edge uh, so every uh, control box is nothing but a block in in nx open so when we are using block ui styler what happens is we are using that functionality to create the blocks and then we can create the blocks as we want and using programming we can write some program inside that block how that block shall behave and then we can have our own custom dialog box similar to what we have here for example hole so hole is another dialog box and which has uh, more number of blocks as compared to edge blend and we can create such custom dialog box by using block ui styler now how to access this block ui styler via this developer tab in this developer tab there is block ui styler let's understand what it states starts the block ui styler application which provide tools to build a dialog box this is what we have understand so far now let's use it when we use it is uh, there are two tabs here one is dialog creation another is code generation inside code generation we have option to change the language here we can change the language from here uh, yeah and then uh, in a dialog so these are different dialogs basic numbers layout selection and spatial these are various dialogs sorry blocks are available here let's say i want to create an assembly and to create that assembly i would like to create a dialog box what i can do i can go to spatial and do a file selection this is where i would like to select a template uh, so this is a block that i have added and you can see in the group this is been added in this uh, dialog paper, uh, creation window i can go and change the label that is the very simple thing that i can do i can write here that browse assembly template uh, rest all things even i can change but i will keep them as is for now and you can see i have options here to save if i am having multiple blocks right now i am having only one block if i am having multiple blocks then i can uh, use move up move down uh, to just rearrange them sequentially now i will have a couple of titles this is for the dialog box itself create new assembly and 
this one is for the group let's change the label here as well new assembly okay here i go i am done with creating a block and i will just save it I will name it and I will save it. We don't need to change the file type. And you can notice successfully generated two files. One is .dlx and another is .vb.